everyone so just real fast I'm recording this in my car and so I have the AC on and this is probably a very very bad angle I have a whole bunch of junk in my car and my hair is tore up <laughs> and so and I'm wearing like a weird outfit of the day so just bear with me while I just make my 14th week update well actually I didn't really write any notes down for this week because I haven't really noticed anything really extremely different the only thing is I guess I've been a little bit more irritable last week I wasn't as irritable but now I've just been like in a bad mood and um, so yeah that's the kind of the only thing um, I still get sinus headaches from if I go outside or if there's like wind which there's been wind the past couple of days um, that will irritate my nose and then I'll just have a bad headache which will put me in a bad mood and then what else I've been noticing in my lower um, abdominal area just above the pelvic bone it has been a little bit m more harder I can't really tell the difference really because like I've said in my a uh, couple other videos that I I do have abs <laughs> not to the extreme but I do have um, abs and um, where they're noticeable of course everybody has abs but I, I have been toned before I was pregnant I was toned and flat in my ab area so it's kind of hard to tell the difference from before but I guess it's a feeling a little bit more tense um, so I can still push it and I'll still go in and it's like rock solid but I don't know how it's supposed to really feel but um, it's it's a little tense um, if I suck in my stomach because in the other video I when I said that this bulge right here is my upper ab if I was to suck that in I can't really suck in the lower part and it's kind of like a little bulge so that I'm guessing is the baby bulge and I can I will am able to see it a little bit um, more because it just just with my like weird shaped abs pointing out it's really it gives me a really weird shape so for most women who are pregnant their stomachs are nice and flat or they'll go in and then the bump mine it has like a bump and then a bump <laughs> so it's a little awkward but um I'm getting a little tiny pudge a little bit um, not to where it's really that noticeable it can either look as if I just am bloated or I just need to go to the bathroom or something or I ate a little bit so that's what it kind of looks like right now so nothing too too much but the thing I noticed is from the first day of my 14 weeks till like maybe my fifth day 14 weeks and fifth day um, my stomach was really big and I thought okay wow my pregnant belly just popped out all of it out of nowhere which I've heard happens that you'll be skinny and then out of nowhere you'll get this um, pregnant belly I thought that was the case because my stomach was just so huge and it, I was going kind of to the restroom regularly more regularly than before so I, I wasn't I was wondering why my stomach was like this but I don't know and then on my 14th week and like sixth day or on the fifth day actually my stomach went really flat so it's like back to normal as normal as if I wasn't pregnant at all so I honestly don't know what happened um I guess it's changed its mind but um, I just wanted to show the pregnancy pills that I've been taking I take a few um, um pills actually they're the one a days this one is um this one is with DHA and it's the one a day prenatal and I take that also with it came together the one a day and this one is the regular prenatal multivitamin so I take those along with um, I forget the actual word but it's the bacteria it's the good bacteria that's in yogurt um, you can take it in pill form and um, so that is supposed to help with my digestive and it's all natural so I read the labels and did research and it sh it doesn't really doesn't do anything to the baby in it it's just supposed to help me with my di digestive problem so I'm supposed to eat it maybe 30 minutes before a meal or after and take those as well but I don't take those right after the other I have to wait a period of time 
Um, I haven't been drinking as much water as I should be. I usually keep it in here so I can keep track of how much I'm drinking. And this is a, oh, I thought it was 64. This is a 24 ounce. So you're supposed to be drinking like 64. So that would probably be like, like three of these, maybe four if you want to be safe a day. And it's really, it gets expensive, I guess, after a while of trying to buy like bottles and stuff. I have a filter, but, um... I noticed that it for some reason the filter it doesn't filter out these black specks and I don't know if that's just because the filter needs to be changed or if or if the water the tap water is dirty and it, that's the what that's what's coming out of it so nothing really else has been going on really it's fine this is mostly just to document my pregnancy and for myself to look back on because I think it's gonna be really awesome to, if you follow Brittany and Baby, I don't think I followed her from the very, very beginning, but um, I think I came in with story or something like that, her labor story, and I started watching her from there, but it's just so awesome that she recorded when she found out she was pregnant, and then she documented her weeks and her pregnancy belly and all that, and now she has her two-year-old daughter, and it's just so, it's so crazy that she, that she has those videos to look back on. And you can go back and see what you were doing post-baby, before baby, I mean like, at, like in between baby and then after baby. So it's going to be a really good experience and I'm really glad that I was able to make these videos when I started making them. So, I almost forgot, I have some strawberry lemonade from some Del Taco. If you guys don't have it at your states, I'm sorry. But they use real strawberries. It's so delicious. I got it in March. So delicious. Stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching.